So in the last video, we have talked about uh, addition of two numbers using J frame. In this, we took a uh, two text field, a button and a label, and we have added, added all the components. And then uh, to create an event on the, on the button, we require to add a listener. So we have to say add action listener. It's a method which belongs to button B. And then we have something called as, uh, we, we need to use this uh, keyword this to pass the object of the own class. Indirectly, we are passing the object of action listeners because this method add action listener requires an object of action listener here. Now, so we tell, then we say set layout, set visible, set size to show the uh, view or to show the output. And then when you close on that uh, cross mark on your J frame, it should close. So that's why we need to write this statement. Now, once you click the button, we need to uh, take two numbers in num1 and num2 from text field, then we'll add it and we'll set the text of label. So this is what we have done in the last part, right? Now, if you focus on this thing, which is this keyword, why we have passed this, this keyword is because this method, which is an action listener, needs an object of action listener. So what we can do is we can use something called as anonymous object here. Now, if you don't know what is anonymous object, you can go to my uh, Code Java tutorials. In that, I have explained about inner class. So please watch that video to understand what exactly anonymous class is. But if you, if you know what is anonymous class, so be with me in this, uh, in this tutorial now. So instead of writing this here, instead of passing the object, what we can do? Let me just uh, copy this code, which is important for me, or yeah, this code, is, which, is, which is very important for me. So we'll say cut, and we'll use this date. We'll, we'll, we'll save it in a notepad so that I can reuse it. Let me minimize this. OK. Now let me just remove this, uh, this here, because I don't want to use this. Let me remove this method also. And since I'm not using this, I don't need a action listener here. Simple. So I'm making it uh, quite simple. So it's a normal class which has some components that we are saying b dot add action listener. In this, we need to pass the object of action listener, right? So what we can do is we can simply create object of action listener, and we can pass this object. Let's say if, let me name this as uh, al, which is action listener, and we can simply pass al here. Simple, right? Let me check for the error. And it says AL might not have been initialized. Is because we need to create an object. We have just created a reference. But if you talk, if you talk about this action listener, let me just go to action listener. It says action listener is an interface which, which extends event listener. So it's an interface. So we, need, we cannot create object of interface, right? Why we cannot object of interface is because it, don't, it doesn't have an implementation. What if, if I say action listener bracket, and here let me provide the implementation. Now this is what we have done in the, uh, in the tutorial of inner class. So once again, if you don't know what exactly anonymous class is, please visit that video of inner class. So the title of that video will be inner class in Java. So go to my channel or go to that playlist of Code Java and search for this uh, tutorial of inner class in Java. So once you're done with that, uh, so we'll create the object of uh, action listener by saying new action listener and giving the implementation. So this is like uh, a creating a class by implementing an interface, which is action listener. Since we are implementing a uh, Interface, we need to define that method also which belongs to that interface and the method name is public void action performed. Uh, I'm talking about, I'm just talking about this, this interface here, which is uh, action listener in this we have action performed. So we can go here and say uh, this action perform except uh, an object of action event, we'll say AE and here the, the logic we were writing here, which is this one. So I need this logic there. So let me just copy and paste it here. And using some proper tabs. Uh, 
Okay, so, uh, so we have written those logic here and that's it. Then we can pass AL. So the advantage we are getting is instead of implementing, so that, see, see now, we, we have not implemented any interface here. We are directly using that interface objects, object in the coding. And then in that object, we can provide, it, provide the implementation and then we can pass AL. So some people use this type of coding. In fact, some books, they have used this type of logic. So we have two ways. Either we can directly use implements action listener or we can use something called as anonymous object or anonymous class or inner class uh, to be specific. Now if I run this code, it should work. So let me run this code. And you got this output here. Let me just type some data. It's four and three. If I click on OK, the answer is eight. Simple, right? And what we can do is, uh, so this is one this is one logic. But don't you think we are using this AL only once here? So whenever you use object only for one time, what we can do is we can copy that object. We can, we can copy the logic and say cut and we can paste it here. So instead of creating object, we can directly pass the object here. Again, this is one type of uh, defining that uh, event. Simple. In fact, some book uh, use this type of concept uh, to represent uh, action listener. So yeah, that's it from this video. Uh, I hope you got the idea of how to use action listener in different, different ways.